Hello everyone, my name is Maggie Giele and I am an award-winning business and marketing strategist. And today I want to share with you a bit about my journey um, because it's been a crazy year and I want to share more about how I actually made things happen. Um, nine months ago, no, one year, about a year ago I was um, in the emergency room with, uh, and I was diagnosed with stress. I was very dizzy. I um, I felt like everything was just moving. I felt like I was going crazy. And after five hours and five doctors, I was diagnosed with stress, um, essentially burnout. And it took me a number of weeks to recover. It was a really really shitty time. Um, and it forced me to also take a really hard look at my business, what I was doing, why and how I had got myself into that situation. Nine months later, in January of this year. Um, I was booked out till April with amazing dreamy one-on-one -on -one clients and I want to share more about how I made this happen, um, some of the actionable steps I took that you can as well um, and breaking this down to really, really specific small things that you can do for your own business so you can also build a more profitable, sustainable business. Um, just to kind of give a disclaimer and be very clear about this, this is not a magic potion easy fix pay me and I will tell you the secret trick to unlocking a sustainable, profitable business. It has been an incredibly hard amount of work. Um, it has been very difficult, challenging, crazy. Um, but I know there are certain things I did that worked for me and certain things that anyone can do for their own business. So I want to share that with you. Um, this is also kind of a sneak peek into my style and what I do as a business and marketing strategist and what we will be covering on the very hands-on workshops in the Prague retreat, business retreat I'm hosting in September this year. And to read more about that, you can go to www.magigila.com slash Prague. If you have any questions, pop them into the comment box and I'll be happy to answer. If you're on the replay, pop them in the comments and I will come back to them. And um, if you're on here live, um, say hi so I know I'm not just talking to myself. So, um, like I said, about a year ago, I had burnout. And um, by that time, I had been in business for about two years. So this is not an overnight, like overnight, like I magically had clients appearing to me. I did not wave my wand and go Atsio and like they all came. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to talk to you today is doing a quarterly review. So hands up or like, Type this in the comments if you have a business plan or if you have some kind of higher strategy that you follow um, that you look at once in a while to see um, how things are going moving forward for your business. So type that in the comments, let me know. Um, so this is now, since it's the 4th of April, it's a really, really great time to sit down and have a look at your business. Um, my biggest thing is, this is what I talked about last week, um, is on return on investment, ROI. One of the things that I was doing a year ago that was wildly unsuccessful was um, I spent probably like four or five, six hours a day engaging in the Facebook groups. And this, the problem with this is that I, like it feels like you're doing work and you're busy, um, but you're actually just busy in an unproductive way because at a certain point you get, um, I'm going into economic terms, but you get like um, diminishing returns that like if you spend half an hour in a Facebook group like replying to questions and being engaged and talking and sharing your, your knowledge and what you know, um, at a certain point like you're, that extra hour in a Facebook group isn't gonna help you further. Um, and I'm very sure that social media was a big contributing factor to me and my burnout. Um, because I would be like walking to the grocery store and I'd be like replying to people on Facebook. It was just constant ongoing From the moment I woke up like in bed. I was checking Facebook until I went to bed at night. So it was um, pretty overwhelming So in terms of doing a quarterly review One of the things I want you to take a look at is how much time you're spending on different activities um this could be like very simple, like an Excel sheet. You can grab the one I gave away last week that's in, linked in my last live video for free, no opt-in. You can just grab it, copy it, and save it to your own Google Drive. Um, and just have a look at where are you spending your time right now in your business. 
Um, and if you're watching this video, it's likely that you want to scale your business or get more clients or be able to sell more of your product. So have a look at two things. One is business development. So what are you doing for your marketing, for your content, for your outreach, networking, and so on. And then other is um, your client work and your actual working in your business. Those are two things. Now I want you to think about how things have gone in the last quarter or even in the last year. If you've not done a review before, um, have a look at the last year because that's what happened for me in my burnout. Um, I had to take a really long, hard look at what I was actually doing in my business, where I was spending all my time and money and energy and then seeing where I was actually getting um, an ROI on. Like where was my income coming from? Um, where were my clients coming from? Um, so for example, I was spending like a ridiculous amount of time, like I mentioned Facebook groups, I was spending a ridiculous amount of time tweaking my website and my branding and my logo and things like that, which doesn't really help you get clients. Um, and at the end of the day, it's really about what what's in it for people to come to your business what's in it for them to work with you what's in it for them to buy your product why does your business as a whole exist so have a look at the last quarter of the last year what has actually gone well in your business what are you happy with let's take a piece of paper and start scribbling down these are all the things that went well in my business so I got a new client or I got more inquiries or I got like a blog post published and as a guest post somewhere um, and have a look at um, what also hasn't gone too well in your business where are, what are things that you want to improve and compare those two columns and see where you can actually take action to move forward so for example you're saying okay listen I spent so much time on blog blogging and blog posts um, but I don't really, I'm not seeing a benefit, I'm not seeing an increased amount of traffic, um, then have a look at what you can do to have a higher impact in terms of spending your time instead of on blogging, on a different content medium or on something else. Um, and the thing is that what a lot of people miss here, uh, which is, it's, I don't know if anyone can, if, if any of you can um, empathize with this or if this resonates with you, like you're feeling like you're on the hamster wheel and you can't get off and you're just like constantly working and working and doing and doing, but you're not actually moving forward. Um, I'm actually getting a bit emotional talking about this because it's been, I've been in that position and it's frustrating and it sucks and it's, it feels, it can feel almost impossible to get out of. Um, have a look at what you're actually doing and it might be that you're focusing too much on the tactics, on the little bits and pieces that don't actually make up the core of your business. So it's like, okay, I have to go engage in Facebook groups and maybe I'm gonna, that's not really working too well, so I'm gonna tweak what I'm talking about in Facebook groups when the whole issue actually is that people maybe don't understand why why they need you, why they need your business. So that's what I just said earlier about your value. So that's something for you guys to think about. Looking at what you're actually doing in your business, how much time you're spending on business development um, a client of mine, Bushra, um, asked, this, asked this question as well, um, looking at time for business development and client work. Um, I mean, my opinion is if you have clients, then that's your number one priority. So spend all the time you can on having really great client relationships and have, making sure your clients have the best experience they can with you. And the time you're not spending on clients, that should be spent on business development, looking for more clients, essentially. And the crux of the disconnect there very often is that, like I said, people don't understand why they need you. And for you as a business owner, it's your responsibility to make sure you show the value of working with you, to show the value of your business. And it's not your audience's responsibility to see it. So that's in your hands and in your shoes. So if anyone has any questions, just pop them in here. I'm happy to answer. If you're on the replay, that's also fine. I'll come back and um, type you up an answer. Otherwise, it's just, I would like all of you to sit down. If you're watching this video, if you're watching the replay, sit down with a pen and a piece of paper and write down what you've, in the last few months since the year started, what have you spent your time on? If it's mostly client work, 
that's awesome because that means you have enough clients and things are going well and you just have to tweak and improve versus doing a big rehaul. If you spend a lot of time on marketing and business development on social media and you haven't, you're not getting the traction you want, then it might be time to look at your bigger picture strategy that you might be getting stuck with all these tactics. Like, should I do a live stream? Should I do Instagram? Should I like change my graphic templates? Like, should I look at my logo? These are all small like puzzle pieces that are part of the big picture. And if you're focusing only on these small puzzle pieces, that's where you get stuck in this hamster wheel because you're missing the big picture. And that big picture could be the disconnect between why you're stuck in this hamster wheel and why you're not moving forward. And I have been there. That is exactly where I was a year ago. So I get it. No judgment. Um, just remember the fact that it's okay. You have to see this, embrace it, and then move forward. That's it. So that's your homework for today. Um, have a look at what went well last quarter, what didn't go that well in terms of your time, your clients, your marketing, and take that, apply it, and declare this week you're going to make one change to start moving forward. So like I said, uh, my name is Nagy Gila. I am an award-winning business and marketing strategist. I'm also the organizer of the Prague Business Retreat happening this September for female entrepreneurs who are ready to get shit done and build a more profitable, sustainable business. And this was a tiny sneak peek into my style and what we'll be covering on the workshops um, in September on the retreat in Prague. I will be doing these live streams twice a week in April, every Tuesday and Thursday around 2 p.m. Um, a Central European time, which is 8 a.m. ish C -E uh, EST. Um, I hope I got my time zone correct, so I'll go check that and maybe reply again in this room, <laughs> in this um, on this um, video. All right. Well, have a lovely day. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, pop them in here. And to find out more about the retreat, go to www.magigila.com/prog. Bye.